And Lorelai said, like, people who don't believe in you and you woke up at 5 in the morning to be here. She's like, keep going. And I was like, <laughs> thank you. So, good morning. We are on our way to the Body by O event. It's around 7.17. So, we're running late. Had breakfast. Everything's packed for the day. Lunches. I'm wearing Bob Show outfit today. And we're headed to Temecula. So, I'm going to record some good content from there. And then hopefully get a good leg workout after at a gym nearby. So, we're going to get going because we're late. But, I'll see you guys soon. This wide top. When you see a suit cut and you see the bottom, you're gonna see it curve like that. That's the, that's for the projection of glute roundness, which 90, it's usually, and I'm out on those stats on this, and I can probably tell you, but most of the time when I hear their critiques, if it's about glutes, at least 70% of the time, top glute, top glute, top glute. Top glute. So, that top of the glute, the cut of that suit can be really important and very early. So make sure you know, your hair doesn't cover your suit line. Make sure your shoulders are square. Your body is up just a slight line forward to the, to the body. Don't bend your knees too much. Toes in if you have the fuller quads. You can go a little bit of toes out if you don't. And then when she turns back to the front, we come around, and she goes back into her front. So what I'll do, Sandy, you want to add anything to the posing, or? Nope, she's good. Um, yes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna let Laura, come on down. I just wanted to add, um, as, as posing has evolved, obviously the judges are very clear with what they want. They want a proportion, balance, the flow look, right? So if you're doing your own poses, um, what normally would happen is that you focus on a body part. And once you start focusing on a body part, it could be your waistline, and then you pose in a certain way that makes it, you know, accentuate your waistline, and then your glutes doesn't look apart, or like your shoulder doesn't look apart. But, what I tell my girls most of the time is like, don't try to create something that isn't there. So, for example, the back pose, right? If the last flare, don't do that anymore. You know, it's not something that they just want, but it's also. I put my hands. I put my hands really, really low on my thighs, and what happens is that I create a rear delt flare, and that's what's going to create the the silhouette in the back, because the judges do want to have that silhouette of the S shape or the X frame, right, at all times. So here, instead of creating something that looks like this, to me that looks a little bit crazy, I'm just gonna drive my hands all the way down on my on my thighs. Can I uh, well, hello there, welcome back, welcome back. Well, welcome back for me, because I finished the Body by O seminar we drove, we were up at 5 in the morning, and I came back. We went to the grocery store after the seminar, and I was slumped. I posted on IG, soaked up all the information, and yeah, I just knocked out. I didn't even get a workout in, but the sacrifices are worth it. I want to come to you to just break down what are my thoughts on the Body by O MPC seminar. So we got to meet the pros, talk with Sam, Sandy Williamson, and she's an Olympian judge. So especially with a person like me, who's on the Body by O team, that meant the world to me, getting advice. I, you know, you have to pay for your pictures after, to get while you're on stage. And for my first competition, unfortunately, that wasn't in the budget, but I saw her there and I was able to get some feedback and some just hearing inspiring stories. Basically, the place that we went to go have this awesome seminar was in Temecula. 
So it was a winery. It was absolutely beautiful. There was like greenery and it was just in this really nice architecture like was really beautiful with like crates and barrels and white steps and we had um, our check-in so we checked in with our first name last name downstairs and went into this big room everything was super organized it, there was like a banner with uh, spectrum fitness and muscle contest on there and the body by o logo and there was people of all categories like even guys classic physique was there um uh, it was bikini girls, figure girls, just to get this knowledge. And that's like what I wanted to soak up from this is walking into something and getting knowledge back, whether even if you are a pro, what can I learn from this situation? So especially for giving 110% to anything that you do, it's awesome to have someone looking at you and saying like what you can improve and all of this. So they actually walked through a presentation of bikini and how just compare and contrast about how posing was before and after what we really want to look for when we're having our hand placements and our back pose and what stretches to do like um, getting on a resistance ball and really stretching out your back because you are arching your back for a long time but it's controlled arch is not really like you're not squeezing your back you should just be like calm and slightly flexed um, I'll show you more posing videos in the future but that's another thing that got to me because when Sandy was up there especially for my feedback about conditioning sometimes I feel bad about myself uh, occasionally when I'm looking at these girls who are just so shredded and lean and it takes me a lot to get there I mean I do have great muscle and I'm blessed because I have been lifting weights since you know, I was practically conceived in the gym. My mom met my dad in the gym. They're both personal trainers. I was, she was taking me to work on those days. But to actually compete and be at that level, I've, only, I've been training for a year, strategically training for a year for the competition body. So it takes me a lot to like not get in my head and not comparing yourself to others and their journey and just like how can I beat my next body so I just w hearing from Sandy's like lips it's not about being the skinny girl upstage it's having the complete shape the fullness the roundness the muscle belly show and I think that's such a cute name the muscle belly but it's like it's that beautiful symmetry the hair the makeup all of that stuff matters and uh, and it's about your posing and especially since I didn't have a posing coach my first round it was unbelievable like thank you for Janet and Laura Lee for just the feedback that you provided and meeting them as, as human beings like just soaking up that how they started was how I started is how everybody else starts it's the fact that if you don't think five to six minutes on stage is worth it then it's probably not for you if you think that it's torture, the diet, the no breaks, and life goes on. Like, I remember my first competition, I would just made it with the gas, like just to park and get there. So uh, I, I do want to open up more about, you know, the struggles about competing. Um, I am like an onion, so we'll get there, we'll get there. But hearing their stories, because we had a panel where we can ask all of the pros, like, what are great tips, what did you do before, what got you through it, and um, he hearing like Laura Lee's story that she was like driving a $500 like bucket car and I'm like girl thank you for saying that same like it we all have to start somewhere and people think that anything that you do any amount of success is overnight because you know they're not seeing the whole picture that's why it's important not to to judge anybody so you just keep pushing forward. Another thing that I wanted to mention is that, you know, Sandy was going through about people on stage and then how they look like in regular life, that the lights are so unbelievably harsh that they actually look more shredded. So they actually have to ease down in order to step on stage because then they'll look twice as shredded because it makes you with the lights, the camera, the tan. 
and no one really like she was mentioning that people who get off stage and go talk to her and ask for feedback and they look she was like oh which one are you because it looks completely different so in regards to getting your makeup that is like a pro thing to do a pro tip to do is like always have someone who knows how to do your makeup with the stage and I super organized there was raffles I was just elated with the amount of hard-working people in one room like it was amazing it was inspiring uh, it just showed me like the courage not to to give up because I feel like that's what others want you to do if, if family doesn't support you you know you're lucky to have one person that believes in you and frankly I don't have many people in my circle but the one person that I have is gives me the love of 10,000 armies so with this is bikini and NPC and IFBB Pro and you're putting your body through this but not only what I appreciated with what people were talking about not only does this help you in, in and bodybuilding but it helps you in all avenues in life like if I'm gonna be in a relationship if it's not a hundred percent I'm not wasting other people's time and they're not gonna waste my time if I didn't want to do this and I wanted to be go to UCLA and be the best nurse there was or the best surgeon there was what is the path to get me there I'm not turning anything in that is not my best with regarding like homework or regarding all of this that's why this sport you have to give a hundred percent to finally believe in that for me to do it for myself because people think oh it's overnight you started competing and I'm like no it's not it's like me. my like my mom worked at the gym for 19 years it's not anything new to me but what is new to me is finally having the courage to believe in yourself so that's what I want to translate to you that it takes a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of saying no. You know, there's a book about like, say yes all the time, but I feel like saying no has gotten me further than anything else that I've done. Um, but yeah, I, I met a lot of beautiful people and just um, being to relate to them, like um, Yarishna, who's from, or who she's from Puerto Rico, and just hearing her journey and just the, the tenacity that it takes for people to actually do this and understand. There's a lot of people who say they empathize, but they don't understand. But that's okay. You just push forward just like with anything else. If you're going to be an artist, if you're going to be a teacher, if you're going to be a lawyer. There's a lot of people who will have a lot of opinions about what you want to do. And I'm on the pathway leading up. I don't know what that future holds yet but I'm gonna put my best foot forward and yes like I'm relentless I'm a savage I love competition because I've been in sports my whole life boxing is my first love I haven't had it easy um, I am just a natural competitor come from where I've come from and the things that I've seen and pushing past that um, like anybody else and like anybody else's story it's like the strive and the excellence that comes out of pain is like that's why I feel like the master of self is the person who is unaffected by both pain or pleasure and I just want to be that for people that watch my YouTube channel because I too been watching these people talk I felt like I had a friend in them so you have a friend in me um yeah and i just hope to keep sharing my journey of being a part of the npc and and just putting my best foot forward and to see keep on going i'm not gonna be like but don't get me wrong i am super competitive i'm like man i've got to no bathroom no mattress with my mama, no home, but don't know where to eat, car don't work, water messed up, uncomfortable is, is nothing new to me. <laughs> but um, 
I, I did want to say my my about the posing thing what Janet corrected with me what I'm so grateful is my arm because I, I am double jointed so when I do my front pose like this to round my shoulders my arm kind of it's like it almost breaks off so I have to like make sure to have it smooth and then work on my transitions to the back pose and I'd like to show you the raffles that they did. They gave out protein bars and they gave out like tanning certificates to get like a free tan at Tan Masters or to have a program by Kim Odo. Luckily he is my coach already so they did give out to people and um, you know I just our seats by Toxic Angel Bikinis. So these are great. I'm gonna take this also to my next competition and they were also giving out the lipoxyderm affirming and defining lotion so it's great when I'm also wearing a waist trainer when I'm doing my cardio and yeah here it is right here tiny of course it's just like an extra it's about like diet and your water you're drinking and no days off but I did take a day off when I came back from the competition. Um, even Anyway, I'm going to try to sandwich the video together. And yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, subscribe below. I really appreciate you. And I hope something great happens today. Drink your water. Or I'm watching you. Anyway. And thank you for all the girls that I met over there. Super inspiring. And hope to see you on stage.